Hi food lovers, welcome back. Today we're making a real simple dish. We are going to cook fish soup or some may say fish tea. This is sure to satisfy your taste buds packed with loads of flavors. Let's start cooking. <laughs> First, we'll start off with the fish. It has already been cleaned, but I am going to do more cleaning of it myself because, you know, sometimes the guys at the store don't do that great of a job of cleaning the fish. So I'm going to go back in with my knife, make sure I take off all the scales, wash it with some lemon, get rid of all that freshness, and then we'll move on. Here I am cleaning inside, make sure all of it is gone as you can see there's some more guts left in because of course the guys do a quick job at the store they don't do it as well enough as you would like so i'm just gonna get that nicely cleaned and then we'll move on to preparing our broth here i have some doctor fish and some grouper head as well some people typically would maybe like use just the head of the fish, but we're going to use both <clears throat> the head and the whole fish as well. The head and the bones, the head of the fish, the bones, all of that you will use to build the flavors. And of course, we'll take the flesh of the fish just so we can have a little something extra to eat in there. Rinsing it off nicely. And we'll move on here I have a pot of boiling water I'm gonna add the fish in there and I will be cooking that for about 10 minutes to build the flavor and of course do remember that all the list of ingredients will be provided below now the fish is in the pot I'm going to allow that to cook for about 10 minutes while that is being done, here I'm showing you the remaining of the ingredients which we'll be using. Here I have some pumpkin, Irish potatoes, edos, green bananas, chocho, -cho, some carrots. Okra, and of course I have my seasonings. I have some white onion diced, sliced green onions, scotch bonnet, thyme, sliced garlic cloves, allspice, fish seasoning or you could use fish tea as well 10 minutes later here i have my fish i'm going to fish it out of the water so we can debone that now i'm going to debone it and separate the bones from the flesh it will be a bit hot so be careful you can let it cool down a bit before you do that now if you just use the filet of the fish you wouldn't get the fish tea to be as flavorful so that's why using the entire fish is so important because most of the flavor is in the bones and the head so i'll continue to take that out make sure i get all the bones out because nobody wants to be drinking soup and worrying about the bones so we'll get that out And fish tea or fish soup is something that is um, not as, how would I say it, not as potent as chicken soup or anything like that. It is very thin, very thin soup. It's not as thick. It's not as full as with body. So here you have it there. 
I'm going to fill back the bones in the liquid and cook it for about 20 minutes to further build my flavor for my broth. Keep that going. Now it's done. I'm going to strain it out and keep the broth. I discard the bones and I'm going to put the broth back on the stove top. And now we're really going to prepare our soup. I'm adding some onions. The allspice, fish seasoning, thyme, and I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes to further build the flavor of my broth. As I've said, soup is all about building layers of flavor. It's layer on top of layer on top of layer, and you do have to add those ingredients in stages. I'm adding the pumpkin right now. Let it cook down a bit. I'll cook it for about two minutes. Now I'll move on to adding my potatoes and edo. These sizes are a bit bigger, so I will be adding that next. As I said, everything is added in stages. You continue to build your flavor. Look at that bubbling, guys. So delicious. Now I'm adding my green bananas. Also, if you would like to add some dumplings, sure, do that. For this soup, I chose not to do so. Add the bananas. Here I have my green onions. Scallions, as they would say, thyme. And I'm just going to continue to build my flavors. Look, you can see that, guys? You see, you see how that's coming together? Trust me, it is delicious, if I do say so myself. Then I add my okra and my fish last because those two things don't need that much cooking time. The okra cooks quickly. The fish has been cooked already. So last minute I add that in and I heat it in with the scotch bonnet because I do love my spice. And for more of a touch, I like at the end to add some onion powder, garlic powder, just to make it a bit more flavorful. That is totally optional. And there we have it, guys. Look at that soup. It is bubbling. Mm, you see, fish tea is not supposed to be too thick. Yes, look at this. See, not too thick. It has to have less body than the other soups you would make, like chicken soup red pea soup this one is not as full of body but it's still super super flavorful i hope you guys do enjoy this recipe if you have not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button or notification bell so you don't miss out on all the great recipes i have in store for you guys i do hope you do enjoy this recipe if you do Please let me know in the comment section if you have tried this dish or if you plan on doing so. Thank you for watching and as always, I appreciate all the support that I do get from you guys. Look at this guys, I'm telling you. This soup is on point. Packed with flavors. Every single drop will be enjoyed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share.